Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. And Jack. We're here for day three of our favorites. So, today we are making spaghetti. <laughs> we're going to do baked spaghetti. Jack says he doesn't remember us ever making it, so we're going to do baked. So, we're going to bring you down here. Our hamburger is already pre-cooked, but we're going to add a few things to it. So, we're going to add a little bit of yellow peppers. We're going to add some onion. That's going to go in a big glob. <laughs> well, I've got it cooked. Break it down, Jake. Break it down. We have our water starting to boil. You want some onions? Onions. Onions. This is a good thing about, you know, honestly, when you pre-cut them and just put them in the freezer, you guys, it saves so much time. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to put in there is a can of mushrooms. And I know there's one of you that doesn't like mushrooms, but we love mushrooms. <laughs> So sorry, you're not getting, we're getting mushrooms in there. Alright, so while we're waiting for all that to cook down and getting our water to boil, I gotta show you guys a couple things. Alright, so first thing, this is from Lorene. I love you, girl. You know that. You're my girl. She got me a new bib. And look at it, it's got roosters on it. And she got me, so guess what, Jack? You're going to be chopping your own potatoes come Friday. Whoops. You don't know what we're doing. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> no, all they know is that. <laughs> she got me a crinkle cutter. I love it. Thank you. Then I thought Alfred did enough for me. He got me that Michigan State stuff yesterday. Guess what else he got me? A Spartan's glass. Check this out when you drink from class. It's like the gray poupon of glassware. Because it says Spartans on it. Yo, go Spartans, Alfred. <laughs> my fellow Michigander. Now, from my buy a coffee that's in the link below, I asked for rod and knives because... Renee's house, that's what we use to cut up all that chicken, and you guys, those knives are amazing. So, I put in for a four-piece, that's still on there. But I also put in for one of these. I don't know who bought it, it just says someone. So, thank you, someone. Look at my rod of knife. I can do some bone chicken with that, baby, let me tell you. The other one's... Eventually, if nobody gets it, I'm going to buy them because they are just really, they're awesome knives. That's what they sell at the Amish stores. So I want to thank you guys. It feels like Christmas when you guys do stuff like that. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that and how much it means to me. I Because I'm sure I've told you guys before, is my water boiling? Yep. It's it getting there. Just about. Um... I'm very much a giver. Um, like with my ex-husband, my ex-boyfriend, for years, I never got birthday, Christmas, anniversary, nothing. And But I always gave and gave and gave. And with Tom, he'll tell me, you know, what do you want? He's tried, and he fails, usually. <laughs> he got me this really nice thing to do your hair. And I've only used it just a couple of times. It's just not me. He did get me a shirt that I really liked once. <laughs> so he goes, you pick out what you want. That way I don't screw up. I'm good with that. So for me to actually get gifts, you guys, it really does mean the world to me. Because I am more of a giver and it's nice to be spoiled once in a while. It really is. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Jack liked getting spoiled that one day too, didn't you? Yeah. 
Look at Jack getting all spoiled. Did you bring over your spaghetti? Oh, that's another thing you didn't tell me to bring. We were having spaghetti. What did you think you'd have to have? A doll. <laughs> let me get mine, and then I'll let you use some of mine. And mine's out of a special jar. Yours is special. It is special. Oh, you're making a mess on my clean stove. I know. I'm doing it just so you can wipe it back up tonight. Just to show you how much I love you, Jack. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I got a bunch on my lap, too, Jack. <laughs> For those of you that are new, I'll show you what I mean why they, I say they're special. My daughter-in-law made these from my grandsons for me for Christmas. She's got a four of them. And this one I put my spaghetti in. It says made for you. And then look at my grandsons. They painted the back. Isn't that cute? And I got three more of them. Do not break it, Jack. I'll have to hurt you. He would literally die, you guys. I had the bottom. <laughs> My daughter-in-law, I've always been one that liked homemade gifts, too. And actually, my daughter-in-law is like that. So she thinks about stuff like that that she can get me. She did buy me one thing, two things from Team U. The one says, it's okay to make mistakes, to have a bad day, I'd to be less than perfect, to do what's best for you. And to be yourself. And then she made got me another one that says, God says you are unique, special, loyal, precious, strong. And I can't see what the last one says. Which I'm really surprised because they're not of faith. And she bought that for me. And I said, that is my favorite. She goes, I knew it would be. So it's nice that they respect that. I love it. <laughs> it scared you again, didn't it? Yeah. Jack emptied my whole thing out. What are we going to do now, Jack? I don't know. <laughs> do you have enough? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to get this spaghetti cooked up a little bit. Towards the end of the video, I'm just going to let you know, we made something very special that's going to go with tonight's dinner. Oh, is it good? And I'm going to have Jack run downstairs because there's something else I want to make. All right. We'll be back. All right, so while we're waiting for Jack's pasta, yours is not even nowhere near done. I can tell you just added it. Well, that one was off. <laughs> All right, we're going to add, you can add your own, whatever you want to do. You're going to add some pasta sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you want, to everything that you've been cooking on the stove. And don't waste that. Tip that jar upside down. Get that all mixed in together. We decided Jack needed more spaghetti, so <laughs> his is going to take just a little bit longer. I'm going to go home and get my thing out of the jar. Let me see it, Jack. Huh? Let me see it. Girl power. <laughs> and for those of you that can, save these jars. They work good for canning. So now while that's heating up and Jack's spaghetti is getting done, I decided I wanted to do something else. I'm pretty good about changing my mind all the time, aren't I, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use my brand new knife. And I had some carrots that we need to get ate up. So I'm going to get all these carrots chopped up into slices. I know I have some canned, but Tom had to move a lot of stuff around downstairs. <laughs> and Jack can't find them, so. We had that plumber come in. He had to move a lot of stuff. And he just hasn't had time to get back down to get it all in there. Look how nice that knife cuts through. Boom, 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 done. All 
All right, so I'm going to get the rest of these all chopped up and put into this pan, and then we will return. All right, so our spaghetti is done. Now we're going to take our sauce and all of that. Normally, I would add um, corn to it, but we're not doing that today because we already added corn to one of our other dishes, so I'm not going to do that, even though I want to. <laughs> and we're going to mix that in with our spaghetti. Get that spaghetti all mixed up with all that goodness. Yummy. <laughs> yes, I'm turning my head when I cough. So I don't cough in anybody's food. Look at that. That look delicious, Jack. Yep. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit of our cheddar cheese in there on the inside of it. Yes, I just made a mess on the floor, Jack. <laughs> Want a couple handfuls out of there? Don't use it all because we need it for the top too. Then we're going to mix that cheese right into there. That looks yummy. No, I need it back over here. He always takes things to the other side of the kitchen. I tell him all the time, we don't cook over there. <laughs> so now we're going to take our 9 by 13 greased pan. And we're going to pour that all in there. Jack's pan's a little bit bigger than a 9 by 13. You have to bring it over and show it to him. I got it from Little Dusty's and it was with a bunch of other ones. Isn't that a big pan? <laughs> I would say so. Alrighty. So we're going to make sure we got all the meat, all that good stuff, and we're going to spread it out. That looked delicious. Oh. Didn't want to go in there. Bad. So now we're going to do something a little different. You didn't get all yours mixed together, Jack. You have to do it inside the pan. Good thing you're using the bigger one, huh? Yeah. You want to make sure you get in there and get all your noodles covered. So we're going to do a light coating of mozzarella cheese. We're actually trying to use up two bags of cheese here. <laughs> and then we're going to use a little bit of that yellow cheese. my Italian seasoning and pour that on the top. Now you can cover it or not cover it. I'm going to cover it for a few minutes because I don't like it with the cheese completely like crusty if that makes sense. So let me get this in the oven then I'll show you what I'm doing with the carrots. Alright so what I decided to do with the um, carrots is and I may have to add more butter, I'm not sure, it depends. But I'm going to take about a half a stick of butter and put it in there. And a half a cup of brown sugar. My son, this was his favorite thing at, I can't think of the name of that restaurant, but the rolls and the carrots were his favorite. So I'm going to let this melt down a little bit, and then I'll be back to show you what it starts to look like when it's cooking. All right, so these are the carrots. Aren't they pretty? So I'm gonna keep them covered 
so that they can basically cook and steam so that they'll be done when the spaghetti is done. So those will be delicious. And look what spoon I'm using. Sparty. I'll be back. Alrighty, so there's dinner. Look at Jack's big old one over there. <laughs> so he's going to try the carrots first. Oh, that's bomb diggy. He's going to try a little bit of spaghetti here. I'd test, but Tom's like almost right around the corner, so I'll eat with him. That's awesome. So everybody said Jack should have a favorite week, but everything that we had scheduled, except for this, um, the, what did we have yesterday? The, <laughs> the liver. Yeah. Everything but the liver is on your favorites list, isn't it? Yeah. And the other thing that's on his favorite list actually will get made Friday. So he had one other thing, but we're not going to do it this time. But, um, Tom will be here in just a couple minutes, and we'll let Tom give it a try. Bye! <laughs> Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. You'll know that throughout the video, but anyway, I wanted Jack to learn how to make some of those 30-minute rolls. Because we're going to do something for those for dinner. So, say hi, Jack. Hello. Alright, so the first thing that we need is a cup of warm water. We also need a third cup of oil. And I had Jack get all the measurements, didn't I, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> a quarter cup of sugar. And we also need two tablespoons of yeast. Okay, so now the first step that you want to do is you just want to, here, you want to stir that together pretty good just to get that sugar incorporated into it. And what you want to make sure is that it proofs. So now we're going to let it sit there five to ten minutes and let it get proofed. And then we'll be back. So I had Jack look in the bowl. What's in the bowl, Jack? Is it fluffy? Yeah. That means you're, you're, um, it has proofed. If it lays flat, then it means your yeast is dead. <laughs> so we don't want to use dead yeast. All right. So now we need a half teaspoon of salt. You can also add an egg at this point, and it's supposed to make it softer, but I've not done that yet. We just chopped up a whole bunch of tomatoes, didn't we, Jack, while we were waiting? Because what I'm doing is trying to get enough to do my um, salsa this weekend. And we need a tablespoon of butter. So now... I'm going to bring it over here just a little bit more. I'm going to bring it up here. Well, here, I'll do this first. You're going to need two to three, or three to four cups of flour. So I'm going to put in three cups to get started. I already made a mess too, didn't I, Jack? Mm -hmm. There's two. I'll have to fill this before you know it. I'm going to use it for something else today, too. <laughs> Alright. So now, what you want to do is you never want to need your bread more than two on your two here. And it's going to keep kneading. And what we're looking for is it to pull together, not be so sticky. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. And then when it starts to come together, we'll be right back. So if you're hand mixing this, you need to knead it for about 10 minutes. But because it's done in the mixer, you can do it for about 5. So we're going to actually let this knead for about 5 minutes. And this is what it looks like when... See how all that flour's got off the side? 
So just a few more minutes and then we'll be able to do what we're going to do. Okay, so this is our, our dough. So what we want to do now, Jack, is we want to pull off a nice piece and we want to fold it over into what it looks like a roll and then pinch on the bottom. You can roll it and sit it in the pan. Go ahead. Oh, bigger than that. Uh, yeah, you want to roll, don't you? Did you see how much I took? Now, no, you've got to do this and keep stretching it over, stretching it over. See how mine look clean on the top? Then you can pinch the bottom and roll them. You see what you got? Watch. See how you got just a bunch of clob there? You got to pull this over, and you don't want to play with your dough too much. But pull it, stretch it, pull it under. Then you grab the bottom, pinch it together, and roll it. Because they're rolls, you want them to be really pretty, right? And then once you get that bottom in, roll it and set it. You're not pulling and stretching. Let me move it down here just a little bit. And then you pinch the bottom and roll it. You see what yours looks like. Now wait, you did that too soon. See how you had this still out and then you started rolling? You want to pinch it at the bottom so that's pulling it even more so it straightens it out because you want it to be smooth along the top. Then you can roll. See how all mine look really smooth? So you want to pull and stretch. You want it to be flat on the top. Then pinch it all together at the bottom. Then you can roll it. Somehow we didn't get that many rolls, did we? Only ten. We didn't have to add any more flour today, so, you know, sometimes the humidity in the air, whatever, will, you know, you're not going to add more than you need to. How's that one? Well, I'm trying. Don't get frustrated. All you got to do is know that you got to pull. Because until you, you know, you learn, see what would happen is that roll will just crack open. So the next thing you need to do is you need to put a clean hand towel and you need to let them raise for 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Alrighty, so we checked and they have risen quite nicely. Look at this. And look at Jack, you were part of that. Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel good? Yeah. Now we're going to bake these 10 to 15 minutes till they start getting brown on the top. Some of them will be bigger, some will be smaller. That's okay, because what we're going to use it for, it'll work just fine. So we'll be back when those are done, and then we're going to show you what we're going to do to them. All right, so the next thing we did is we took a stick of butter and we melted it. Now we're going to take some garlic. 
No, my garlic didn't turn out this year. So uh -oh. one of these years, maybe it will. <laughs> I'm going to use a good tablespoon of garlic. There you go, Jekyll. That's why I don't like garlic. I'm not bad about it. I know, I need to order more of that too, by the way. And then I'm going to take some parsley and I'm going to pour in there. And then we're going to mix it all together real good. This is going to be yummy, you know what? Yeah. Now the rolls are still just a little bit warm, but not too bad. So now we're going to take this and we're going to do every single one. And we move them around so that they can try to get down on the sides and whatever. Look at that, Jack. Don't that look good? Oh, yeah. We're going to make sure we get all of the sides, everything. Too bad Jack don't get to take none home. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> You were supposed to say, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Oh, my. You know, Jack, what? there's 10 of these. You missed one. Not yet. There's four, eight, ten, you know. And then I'm going to just take this rest and just kind of pour it over. There's no point in wasting any of it. Look at that. And then kind of brush it on there. Well, Jack, you can get one less to take home. How's that? And we'll try one right now. I'll give you the bigger piece. All right, let's go up here. You're still a little warm. Oh, that's awesome. Is it good? Yep. I was kind of hoping it was just my own thing. Mmm, that is so good. <laughs> I'm going to scrape from the bottom. <laughs> what do you think? Woo. Better than any store-bought stuff? Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Not sure where this will be at in the video, but we'll be back and we'll be doing dinner. Well, hi, Tom. Hello. So there, let me show you. He loves spaghetti. There's spaghetti, the roll, and carrots. Go for it, baby. You don't have to tell him twice about spaghetti. That was his favorite this week. And Jack's. I'm not a spaghetti lover. You trying the carrots next? Yep. These aren't my canned ones. These ones are I did raw and cooked them myself. <laughs> now try your roll. Those are yummy, yummy. <laughs> mm. What do you think? That's good. That's so green stuff. I took butter, garlic, and parsley, and I melted it and stirred it together, mm. and I brushed all those rolls that that recipe I got from Renee, mm -hmm. and brushed them on top. Ooh, very yummy. <laughs> so is dinner fit for a king tonight? Mm -hmm. So this is day three. I've been crowned. <laughs> you need to tell people you did like the liver. That you were. It was yummy. It was really yummy. It was yummy today too. Yeah, you were just really tired last night. He gets really tired like that. He's not very talkative, unless it's something he wants to talk about. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. You guys have a great night. 
Um, have a blessed night. Be a blessing. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom.